What's up you guys, Zeddy at Fliptronics. So I'm gonna be showing you my pick for the best phone under $300 to check out in 2019. All right, so we're gonna be checking out the Moto G7. I think this is definitely the best mid-range phone to come out so far this year. Uh, it's got a 6.2 inch LCD display that looks awesome. The phone is also really loud. It's got a 12 megapixel back camera and it's really got a good uh, battery life. 3000 mAh built-in battery. It'll get you through most of the day. So what I wanna do in this video, we're gonna test out some gameplay with it. I'm gonna throw up a, a really cool third person shooter if you want to check out our full review on this phone i'll leave a link in the description but you know i've been a fan of the moto g series for the last couple of years you know i've had the g5 the g6 and now that they released the g7 i really think this phone could definitely cost anywhere between 400 and 500 dollars but with a price point of 300 i think it is definitely you know really the best mid-range phone right now so i'm gonna get the volume turned up on here so you can like really hear how loud it is um, you know, if you have any questions too about this phone, just hit me up below and I'll get back to you. But we're gonna do uh, Brothers in Arms 3. This is a really cool third person shooting game. I'm gonna get a couple levels in here and uh, you know, we're just gonna get into some of the action with this phone. Hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let's get into it. Oh, check out this slow motion motion kill. Oh, dang. That was like the perfect way to end that. All right, should be the last couple guys right here. That was an awesome uh, headshot, though. Dang. Take a shot, they're reloading! <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna get into another level on this game, but I mean, you can really hear that the phone is super loud. I mean, the display looks really good for playing games, obviously, and watching video. And the other thing I forgot to even point out about this phone, I mean, the design on it is really nice, too. It's got a sleek design that you can clearly see. It shines a little bit on the back here. It does pick up a little bit of your fingerprints, but you know, overall, the design on this phone is just really good. All right, so I wanna get into one more level here, which will be level two, and uh, let's get this going.
Oh, check that out. Nice. Nice kill. in that air strike. I'm gonna take you back to the home screen. I was definitely enjoying some gameplay here, but uh, anyways, uh, this phone is literally only 300 bucks. Um, it comes unlocked. I think that, you know, it's got a really nice 6.2 inch display. The phone is easy to hold one handed. It's got a slick design on it. Um, you do not get an OLED display. It's LCD, but I still think it looks really good. And honestly, like I said, I've been a huge fan of the Moto G series for the last couple of years and I've continued to follow it you know, going into this new G7. I just think it's probably gonna be the best budget phone to come out all year. All right, anyways, I'll throw a link down there if you wanna check out our full review on it. Please hit the like and share. Thanks for watching it, guys, and we will see y'all later.